I've watched a ton of videos of people applying the Rust-Oleum Rock Solid garage floor. You know, I say epoxy, I always call it epoxy, but it's not actual epoxy. But um, in pretty much every video that I've watched, they talked about how the coverage isn't what Rust-Oleum says it should be. Um, everybody is going one coat like they're saying it should be, um, and they're wishing it would have uh, they'd have more product or been a little thicker. Um, and I've only got I've got a 20 by 20 two car garage here. Um, the uh, that I purchased, as you can see, I purchased three two and a half car garage kits, two of the clear coats, and I bought some extra chips because I'm going to go. I'm going to try two coats of the epoxy. I'm going to go heavy on the chips, and then I'm going to do the clear coat. So I'm hoping that the coverage will be great. The extra chips can hide any little imperfections, whether it be bubbles or small tiny cracks. Um, the good thing that I have going for me on this one is this floor was poured about three years ago, but it was never sealed. It was poured when the temperatures were really low and um, any sealant that I looked up had to be above 50 degrees. Well, they poured this when it was like 40 degrees. So that winter I could never get sealant on that I thought anyway, um, according to the manufacturer's instructions. So, um, and then the next year went by and I just never got to it because it was full of stuff. Well, I'm finally going to get it done. I've done my um, cleaning, I blew it out, I pressure washed it out. This morning I'm going to do the etching, but I'm not going to show really any of that necessarily, maybe in a time lapse, but there's a ton of videos on how to apply um, and instructions on how to do it. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, I'm just going to do filming of the actual process being done. Um, so what I have here, everything you see here I bought on Amazon, and this is about um, I think 830 bucks worth of stuff. That includes all three of these, these two, and the chips. Um, we'll see how it goes. I paid 830 bucks, and then of course there's my labor. I had a professional quote for a guy came out, and it's weird. The, the pictures he showed me looked exactly like the pictures on the boxes. Um, he quoted me three grand. That was um, start to finish. Now that was a tough one to swallow because I knew I could do it myself. Um, I just kind of wanted to get an idea of what a professional would charge. So I'm doing it for basically a thousand bucks because then I did have to buy the rollers and, uh, and stuff like that. So I already had my pressure washer. I already had a squeegee. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. See if I can get what I feel is a professional looking job. Okay, it's now Sunday morning. The uh, etching is done and it's dry. Um, so what I'm hoping to accomplish is that these small cracks will be covered by the two coats of epoxy and the, uh, the excess of chips that I'm gonna throw down. Um, and uh, see how it goes. All right, got a helper here. We're putting uh, masking tape along the base. <laughs> and uh, start applying here pretty quick. Going for bag number two, and it's coming out pretty good. That's one whole bag, and I'm going on pretty thick. I think it'll look good. The cracks are showing up a little bit, but I'm hoping the second coat or the chips will hide those. 
So we're on, we're on it. Got the first coat down nice and thick. Looks good, it's shiny. So we'll close the uh, garage door down to keep bugs and dogs out and let it dry. And then I put that little socket right there so that we can close it only closed so far so the rubber won't get stuck to the to the epoxy and I'll just uh, now I'll grab some chairs and we'll just wait for 10 hours <laughs> okay Ooh. it's had more than 24 hours to dry this first coat I know it's dry, but I'm afraid to walk on it. Wow. A lot of cracking. Um, but that just looks like, from where I went, kind of thick. So, kind of weird. Kind of got like an orange peel look to it. But I think that'll still be okay. I am going to, with some kind of weird, weird discoloration there. But I'm going to put on another coat. And, uh, and then the paint chips, and that should hide any of the imperfections. It's, it's kind of weird. It's not like a really steady, you know, solid look. Like a lot of little like veins, vein type cracks. It's kind of weird. All right, well, I'll do another coat and uh, put the paint chips down. We'll see how it looks. And the bubbles aren't bad. I might sand those down a little bit, maybe first. As you can see, I'm going really heavy on the sprinkles. At least I hope you can see it. Um, and it's kind of like painting a wall like a different color. It uh, The second coat just goes on so much better. And uh, the color stays a little bit more true. Of course, it was kind of doing that when I was doing the first coat and then until it dried. So, so we'll see how it goes. Um, with the entire thing, but the uh, the paint chips are really gonna hide a lot of the imperfections. So, all right, I'll just keep going. It is all done. I think it's going to look pretty good. I can see the cracks still showing through, um, even after the second coat. But um, that's okay. You really got to look for them. Um, and only I know where they are. So um, it looks good. Now we'll let it dry tomorrow. Uh, and then tomorrow evening, I'm going to throw the clear coat down and uh, see how it looks. Okay, the floor has had another 24 hours to dry from the second coat. Looks pretty good there. Feels dry. If 
Feels dry. Feels pretty good. There's a couple of these places that when I dropped the uh, the paint chips down, it might have been a little thick, but that's fine. I'm going to kind of brush or brush them and maybe blow them. Yeah, that's fine. I'll kind of brush them and blow them a little bit, but the surface itself looks pretty good. Yeah. I'm happy with it. I think what I need to do is uh, kind of clean up these clumps and um, not too bad. Put the clear coat on. Let it dry. It's supposed to rain. God, it might rain tonight. So, I mean, obviously it's protected in here, but there is that, that little bit along that outer edge that's exposed. So, hoping that... Uh, Nothing happens there, but I think we'll be all right. So, you know, this is in good shape. I'll uh, get it cleaned up and ready for the, ready for the clear coat. Okay, all done. Um, it's really tricky to see where I'd been, except the darker chips just got a wet look to them. And I had to kind of use some of the two by fours as landmarks as to kind of where I started and stopped. So, but uh, it went on well. I used one and maybe, maybe an eighth or not even a quarter of a bag um, to get through the whole job. So. Uh, now let it dry and see how it looks. All right, another another 24 hours later. Not tacky. Wow, looks really good. As you can see, you can still see. You can still see the cracks, but uh, that's okay. It looks good. I'm really happy with it. But I'm not going to start moving stuff in probably till at least tomorrow. Give it 48 hours to really set up. But see how easy it is to take this tape off. Some of it might be epoxyed in, but I can take it in, take a little knife and trim it. But looks good I'm happy with it now we'll have to see how it holds up over the course of time